This is the story of Peter Gack, a story for children and adults alike. However, warning, this video contains graphic footage of an entire civilization being consumed by fire, so parental discretion is advised. Peter's last name was Gak, but he also belonged to the Gak civilization. I will explain this later on in the story. Gaks look like this. A Gak is a very unfortunate creature because of their very short lifespan. The average Gak lives only 69.2 times 10 to the minus 34 seconds. That's less than 100 million trillion trillionth of a second. In numbers, that looks like this. Gaks are unfortunate not only because of their short lives, but also because of their small size. The average adult male Gak weighs only about 155 times 10 to the minus 74 grams. That's less than 100 billion trillion 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 trillionth of a gram. In numbers, that looks like this. To get an idea of how small Gaks are, consider this analogy. If you made a Gak the size of a virus, then in comparison, a single virus would be the size of the moon. Gaks are born spontaneously in the presence of heat and light. For example, every time a person lights a match, several dozen different Gak civilizations develop on pieces of dust near the lighted match. This is the story of Peter Gak. However, Peter Gak was not born with the last name of Gak. Peter Gak was born as Peter Reginald Miller. However, due to his great contributions to the Gak civilization, the king of the Gak civilization knighted him and changed his name to Peter Gak. At that time, in that particular Gak culture, it was considered a great honor to have your surname changed to Gak, which of course was the name of the civilization. The idea being, you were such a quintessential and important Gak that your name was actually Gak. The king that knighted Peter, whose name was King Henry Gak the 19th, only knighted seven Gaks during his entire reign, which lasted a very long time by Gak standards. Thus you can understand that Peter was indeed a very special Gak. Here is a picture of the ceremony where Peter Gak was knighted. Before I go on to the actual story of Peter Gak, let me give you some background information. I will start from the beginning. The universe is 10 to the 234th years old. That number is even too big to say, but you can see what it looks like. It's a very huge number. The current Big Bang cycle started 10 billion years ago and occupies just the very tip of the arrow of the above timeline. Here is a picture showing the part of the arrow occupied by the current Big Bang cycle. As you can see, it occupies only a tiny part of the whole timeline. For further context, consider the following. The current Big Bang cycle started 10 billion years ago. The Sun and the Earth were born about 4.5 billion years ago. Life on Earth started about 3.5 billion years ago. And modern humans evolved only about 200,000 years ago. As you can see, the timeline for modern humans is very small compared to the age of the Earth. Modern humans have existed about 200,000 years. That's approximately 8,000 generations. 
Robert Higgins was born in 1931 and died in 2012. He lived 81 years. As you can see, the timeline for Robert Higgins was very small compared to the amount of time that humans have existed on Earth. Here is a picture of Robert Higgins at age 17. When Robert was 17 years, 231 days, 4 hours, 11 minutes, and 21 seconds old, he lit a match. Here is a picture of Robert lighting the match that created the Gak civilization that Peter lived on. As you can see, the Gak culture that Peter lived on was created when Robert Higgins lit a cigarette. Cigarettes are bad for people, but good for Gak cultures. As you can see, when Robert lit this cigarette, a dozen or more Gak cultures were created. Nevertheless, boys and girls, don't smoke. Back in 1948, when Robert was 17 years old, they didn't know cigarettes were bad for you. The match was lit for five seconds. As you can see in the picture, Peter's Gak civilization existed here. It lasted 100 billionth of a second. The Gak civilization lasted 100 billionth of a second, but Peter existed only here in about the 100,000 trillionth generation. This is a picture of Gak civilization at the time that Peter lived. Unfortunately, this picture captures a Gak at the top of a building about to commit suicide. Boys and girls, please ignore that Gak. This is the only picture we had. Hey Bob, why didn't you Photoshop that Gak out of the picture? I'm sorry, but the Photoshop license expired. Peter Gack was perhaps the most talented and versatile Gack that ever lived. He was a prodigy from the get-go. At the tender age of 10, that's 10 to the negative 34 seconds, he won the 15 and under Gack Chess Championship. He was the youngest Gack to ever win that championship. Peter's opponent at age 15 was utterly destroyed, losing seven straight matches and winning none. This is a picture of Peter Gack at age 17, about to win the Gack World Championship. His opponent, Ronald Green, was the first Gack of color, which is what they called the Green Gacks, to make it to the Gack World Championship. This particular match was very controversial, because some Gacks don't like the Green Gacks. One famous Gack was fired from his job as host of a TV program for calling Ronald a Grinner. He said, I'm so glad a Grinner did not win. After winning the Gack World Chess Championship, Peter gave up chess, saying it was no longer a challenge for him. Instead, he concentrated on college life, attending the University of Michigan, where he graduated valedictorian of his class, while at the same time leading the college football team to a GAC college championship. After college, Peter became a quarterback in the National GAC Football League. He became one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever lived. Many people called him the GOAT, which means the greatest of all time. Peter won Super Bowl 51,000 which was considered one of the greatest Super Bowls ever played, where they came back from 25 points down to win in overtime. Here is a picture of the trophy that they were supposed to get for Super Bowl 51,000. It has an LI on the bottom, which means 51, and a bar above it, which in Roman numerals means multiply by 1,000. Thus it means Super Bowl 51,000. However, this trophy was never given out, as Commissioner Roger Gackdell decided he didn't like it. Here is a picture of the final trophy given out for Super Bowl 51,000. Roger Gackdell said the original trophy was not dramatic enough. Instead, he wanted one that had a total of 51 M's, where in Roman numerals, each M means 1,000. He also wanted his name on the trophy, insisting 
it was good for the National GAC Football League. Here is a video clip of Tom Gak, I mean, Peter Britt, I mean, Peter Gak celebrating after Super Bowl 51,000. But it was not Peter's achievements in chess or football which got him knighted by the king. It was his contribution to medicine. At the age of 41, Peter Gak retired from professional football and instead set up his own lab with his own money, which he had earned from football, to develop new medicines for the Gak culture. He single-handedly, in his own lab, developed three different medicines to cure three different diseases. And he increased the average life expectancy of a Gak from 66.6 to 69.4 GAC years, meaning 10 to the minus 34 seconds per year. It was these achievements in medicine that prompted King Henry GAC the 19th to knight Peter Reginald Miller as Sir Peter GAC. By the way, notice how fat Peter is in this picture. I guess that's what happens to professional athletes after they stopped playing sports. Peter lived a very long time for a GAC, dying at the ripe old age of 97 GAC years old. That is, 97 times 10 to the minus 34 seconds. This is a picture of Peter GAC's gravestone. It says, Peter GAC, humanitarian, philanthropist, champion chess player, all-time GOAT football player, brilliant scientist, and all-around great guy. You will be remembered forever. Actually, he was remembered for a staggeringly long time by GAC standards. His legend was passed down through one million GAC generations, a span of 10 to the negative 27 seconds. He was remembered to the very end of GAC civilization until the very end of GAC time. This picture shows the amount of time that Peter Gack was remembered compared to the total age of the universe. If we made the timeline for the age of the universe to be one billion trillion miles long, then the timeline for the amount of time that Peter Gack was remembered would take up the space of one trillionth the width of a human hair. Warning. The following picture is a graphic image showing the GAC civilization bursting into flames. This image may be disturbing to younger viewers. Parental discretion is advised. GAC time ended when the dust that was the home of the GAC civilization that Peter lived on spontaneously burst into flames because it got too close to the match that created it. Help me, Mommy! I don't want to die. Daddy, what's happening? I'm so hot. Help! Help! Oh! Save me, Lord. Save me. Finally, I get to go to heaven. Isaac Schickenbaum, the scientist that discovered Gax and won a Nobel Prize for his efforts, said, in an interview with Time magazine, Thank God I am human, and I will live for such a long period of time. Imagine those silly gacks taking life so seriously when they live such a short period of time. The people at Time magazine then said, Amen. <laughs>